So guys, welcome back to Injustice 2. I, I really wanted to make a video for this. If you've never heard, I've, I love Red Hood. He's always been my favorite DC character. Ever since I watched Under the Red Hood, the animated movie, he's just been... I don't know, he's always been top. And then he was in Arkham Knight. I, like, lost my shit when I saw that. And I uh, went ahead and got his ending. I'm going to show that to you. I might do some fights with him, and I want to show you his gear. So let's check out his ending really quick. That felt... Good. Titanium composite hollow point bullets with a C4 kicker. Fastest, most explosive ammo in the world. I made them myself. With the invasion over, Bruce and Superman started fighting again. I wasn't down with either of them. On the one hand, the regime's right. Scumbag murderers and rapists deserve to die. But on the other hand, I'm no fan of government authority, especially the dictatorial variety. So while the world's finest fight each other, I fight for the people. The weak, the innocent, anyone who can't protect themselves. When they cry out for a savior, I'll answer. As for the criminals who threaten them, they need to know that their actions have consequences. That the Red Hood is coming for them. Kinda figured he would have a dark ending. I just thought it'd be that dark. That's some like, twist of metal type shit, you know? Alright, I wanted to kinda go over his gear before I do any fights. If you get this helmet, hang on to it. Because... The ability the it... Okay, most time you have to have gear sets in order to get any kind of extra bonus. This one, and a few other items in the game for different characters. I think Superman has a crest that gives you up to 25% of defense based on the defense you have so it just it's like a huge stack uh so this right here is really good when you get a hit if you're the first one to strike in a match you get 25 percent meter out of, like just right out the gate this will basically give you three full bars so you pretty much can start the match in the last frame of a super and so that's really good i think the highest this goes is 50 percent once i got to 49.89 i was like not rolling this anymore the stats are pretty good you can just tell by the sell price. Now, the gear sets, I'm still struggling to get a lot of those pieces. And I've been playing, like, all week. Uh, this is the best I could get for this one. I thought the uh, the, the stats were great. Uh, it even has the almost 11% extra damage to villains, which is really nice. But I don't really know what the puncture does. Stick for opponents for extra damage. It's like a poison-type effect. I don't really know. Uh, this one, I'm still trying to get more of. I would like to get two-piece of the other and then three-piece this. I'm not really crazy about the... The, the, the fifth part of this one. It just doesn't really make sense. You'd have to basically almost be dead for it to even matter. And by that time, the match is already over. So it kind of seems pointless. And then, I guess, this is the other part of the other one. This is some pretty balanced stats. I, I figured ability might be the best thing for him. Now, if I can get the other half of this, I may just do it. Because he does use knife attacks a lot, which you might see in a minute. Uh, I got a Kimbo Blaze, which is an ability that I unlocked... Takes up both slots. I don't really know which one's better to use. Either two of these or this one. So I just put that on there for now. His shaders look good. Uh, I just kind of pick a random one. I didn't really go through them. The cool thing about him is the demon and god alternates and just the regulars, they don't make his eyes white like all the other characters. So I thought that was kind of a nice touch. I just want like this one. This is my favorite. I don't know why. Actually, I think I could buy it. Can I? Let's see. Oh, I actually had enough. Well, there we go. I'll go ahead and spend my the last of my source crystals there. But yeah, that's pretty much him in a nutshell. I'm going to go ahead and show you some gameplay for him. I appreciate you guys supporting these videos. And I'm going to... I guess I'll see you in the match in a minute. So guys, I thought about which one I could do. I think I'm going to try this one. I'm going to kind of skip around some of the matches. But the fact that you get random epic gear from this... Looks like you have to complete one of the things. The swamp thing in order for it to work. I'm just going to try them out. Let's just see what happens. Now, the AI loadout I do have, I do 10 rush down, 20 combo, 30 counter, but I'm going to be using it Red where I'm playing it. So, here we go. First one up, we're fighting a mirror match. I'm having another Lazarus flashback. If I hit you, will you wake up? Come give it a try. Begin. How satisfying. Alright, let's check out his movie. He has a uh, Kimbo Blaze. That's the thing I have equipped. Gotham Stars, Ground Mine. Oh, Gotham Stars is a thing I think that sticks. Now, I don't know. 
I don't know if it did like extra damage right there. I think the ground spikes up randomly, so. And I, I'm gonna try to show you his super as well. All right, so. Little air slam. So he has like a lot of ability type stuff. Let's try this, I haven't seen this yet. Uh oh. Oh, that's so sick. Did he just throw his gun up in the air? Oh, that's badass. That is so sick. So if you notice, Bust Back, because I don't know if I got the first hit, it looks like I did. I'm pretty, like, pretty much awful with him right now. Kind of learning everything. I didn't want to practice or anything with him yet. It seems like he has those like little stars he can throw. Let me try out this. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's so random. Let's look at his combos really quick. I'm just curious. Combo attacks. Well, he has a very limited amount of stuff, so... Oh, shit. He might do it to me. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, shit. He has some pretty different... Uh-oh. That's a knife attack. All right. So his, I think his ability would be really good if he maxed it up. Oh, what the hell just happened there? All right, that wasn't too bad. That was my first time playing as him. I've been doing the AI stuff a lot to unlock gear. And a lot of the multiverses, I would just get wrecked on. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now look at that. I already I already have uh, almost full super bar because of that helmet. That's so sick. Like that's so sick. The the, like, the fact that I already have that just blows me away that that's even a thing. Like I'm pretty sure that'll be nerfed eventually, but for now, hope it enjoy it. And it's one you uh, there was actually a multiverse you get. I just realized. Uh, okay, so something somebody might ask me. Every time I do a special move, for some reason, I get 10,000 experience and 10,000 credits. I'm pretty sure they'll, like, fix that eventually, but uh, it's when you, I guess, there's these things you can get to level 20. And every time you get to a different level with it, it'd be like, get so many perfect matches or whatever. I, I don't know, it's just, it's weird. It's like, I don't know why that's even a thing, but I, I guess this is the way it was intended. I don't really know. It seems kind of broken, but... It doesn't really help because breaking up with this game is absolutely pointless. Uh-oh. So he has, I mean, a lot of, I don't know if they call it like zoning or what. Yeah, he's, he's a pretty decent character though. I just got hit by those spikes. Red Hood wins. Look at that shit. I already got it. I love it. I haven't really fought a good Bane. I mean, it's it's crazy how... Oh, wow. I'm getting, I'm getting juggled off the stage. What the hell's going on? I guess after this match, I'll probably just transition to the, uh, to the actual end of this multiverse. But thank you guys for supporting these videos. If you want, I'll do videos for the other set of characters coming out pretty soon whenever they all drop i think sub-zero is next from what i saw but there might be one released every month i think starfire i think is that her, is that her name starfire i'm not sure there was actually a, a small character on there um i'm not really sure who it is but it looks like it's gonna be something really fun to play with so he has a lot of good little knife attacks I do like his his story though, because he pretty much was really pissed at Batman for not ever taking matter into his own hands and actually like killing bad people. He's like Batman was like anti doing that, and I don't know. It's just it's different. So he's kind of like pissed at him for that, and then he kind of tied his story in with that. So that's why he's been such a uh, I guess carnage type character. Oh, that should have been it. Try harder. I have nothing to sacrifice there. That's my ass right there. I <laughs> just got wrecked. 
All right, with that being said, guys, I love you all, and hang tight. Red Hood wins. So, guys, before we go, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. And also, here's kind of what the character menu looks like. It's a little bit different. They had Red Hood in the middle, and they have... It looks like Raiden bottom right over here. I don't know who's next to him. And then, I'm guessing... I, I don't know if her name is Starfire or not. And I don't know the other two next to them. And I'm guessing Sub-Zero is one of the two on the left right here. And I would have no idea the rest. No idea. But anyways, if you guys want videos for those eight characters when they do drop, I think Sub-Zero is up next in July. And I'm not sure what might be after that. So, love you guys. Just let me know. And I will catch you soon. Take it easy, guys.